my name is uh, Victor Binigama. I work uh, for Center for the Development of People in Malawi. It's, it's a human rights uh, organization uh, working with uh, LGBTI uh, communities. Uh, we've really had a great uh, partnership with COC. Uh, in one of the events uh, that was organized uh, with funding and uh, expertise from COC, we uh, did uh, um, an HIV testing and counseling campaign uh, for the LGBTI community. Uh, we also worked uh, with health service providers who were trained under uh, the COC. Um, we organized uh, an HDC STI session uh, for the LGBTI community at a safe space. But during, during that time, uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, homophobia. Uh, stigma and discrimination towards the LGBTI community uh, because there had just been arrests of uh, two gay men. Uh, so because of that, uh, religious leaders picked it up. Uh, so many LGBTI community members uh, had to operate down low. But we still went ahead organizing uh, that um, uh, HTC campaign um, session. Uh, it was the peer educators, uh, LGBTI community members, who well, are LGBTI community members that uh, uh, went out, mobilized the LGBTI community to come and attend this session. Um, during this session, uh, we had around 40 LGBTI community members at a very uh, safe space. Um, there were healthy talks on uh, HIV testing and counseling. There were healthy talks on stress, uh, drug and alcohol abuse, uh, STI treatment. Um, and these talks were done by health professionals. Uh, uh, from the local district uh, hospitals trained by uh, COC and, and SEDEP. Uh, during this time, um, we had a lot of young LGBTI members. One of the most striking thing about this time was that uh, so many of them tested uh, for HIV, so many of them tested for STI. I remember this particular um, young uh, MSM uh, who came to the health service provider uh, during that time uh, to, to say, I think I have got a friend who might have an anal STI and uh, he lives uh, some 20 kilometers away. Is it possible to organize transport to pick him up and he should get tested and then get treatment? We did exactly that, brought him to, to the session. Um, he got tested, he, he had an anal STI, he got treatment. Um, the health service providers tried to um, uh, talk to him to also do an HD, uh, HIV testing and, and then he refused, he said no, I think maybe I might already have HIV. Um, when he went out where other things were taking place uh, like brain, music, uh, all the LGBTI members were there, um, this other friend who had brought him in uh, talked to him, uh, motivated him to still do HTC and then he uh, at the last moment came back to the health service providers to, to say no, let me go to do HTC and uh, he got tested, uh, he was found uh, negative. What about, I find very, um, very valuable about this story is that uh, he is a young person who has never been a peer educator. Um, um, but he's able to be empowered in this session, which ran up to about four hours, to get uh, his friend who had an STI. So I find it very empowering. And not only that, but also to go beyond um, just STI, uh, motivated his friend to also go for um, HIV testing. So it is the empowerment uh, uh, that this session, this campaign uh, funded by COC, the empowerment that it provided to this young person, which immediately brought uh, results. So that's uh, a, special, um, a special thing about this whole story. Uh, the fact that this young person was persistent to help his friend, getting him from that uh, remote area to come to this uh, uh, event, get tested, get treatment, further beyond that, get HIV testing. That was a great uh, kind of a story to me. Thank you very much.